All right, so I'm gonna try to do something a little bit different with my video. I'm actually gonna try and actually edit something. So it'll just be on my phone. So anyways, got a little project. So I want to do, this is a T50 rebuild kit, or shift rebuild kit, sorry. And um, plan is to rebuild this after. I also want to swap, well, actually first, we're gonna do this. This is an 886 center console. And the plan is to swap that into Lola. For those that don't know, this is Lola. 1983 Toyota Corolla. Nothing special, just pretty basic setup. Anyways. So I already kind of started. Here is basically the setup I've I have right now, which was uh, this is a custom shift knob that my buddy Grant in Canada, baby, it's eight six shift boot already. Um, this is the you know a seventy one style little e brake cover. So the plan is to swap that stuff into here so that way I have a little bit better looking interior and we can start covering up all that panel so let me get set up and then I'll probably just try and splice together various clips to I don't know try and see how it comes out this is just kind of a test video but once that's done we got some cooler stuff happening coilovers that I'm building for the front with the full GTS uh, front brakes. It's kind of a mess over here, so excuse me, but I got GTS brakes. Also got custom port, like uh, not custom, but uh, adjustable four link. Got a few other things planned for it, so let's try and get this small project done. And if it comes out halfway decent on video, I'll make a couple more. All right, so here is the first little situation we're running into um, obviously different mounts I have some a86 center console mounts somewhere I just have to uh, find them but this is the mount from the factory that doesn't fit with the a86 center it's got the cup holder thing in there a little cubby so we can't can't fit that one so there's a different mount there and then I'm pretty sure there's another mount that goes here that mounts that holds it secure and then uh, the issue I'm running into is that I had to like seal up in here because it was kind of open so I used this um, aluminum tape it's like the good stuff meant for like ducting and so it sealed everything up but I have a feeling that this shift boot is now it's moved too far forward so now the two pieces don't line up and here i'll show you right now so this is as far forward as this center console can go before the cubby actually starts running into the parking brake assembly so let's see let's get this pushed in there uh, so now once we put this one on just give me one sec all right so basically the issue is is that where this thing is happy does not coincide where this is happy so this would be them matched up right but the problem is you can see the shift boots actually not in it and if you get this centered on the shift boot it, it actually makes this one too far apart. so this one wants to sit here while this one wants to sit here this one's all the way maxed out this way so I have to figure out a way to get the shift boot back mounted back so that way it could all kind of drive together so that's what i'm going to work on and i'll uh see if i can get back up all right so this was the old mount for the other little center console deal this is from an a6 so what this does is mounts here and then it allows these mounting holes 
So now, hard to see, but those match up now. Allow me to mount it. And then up here, we have two holes. There, there. And then that's where this guy mounts. Okay. I had this done in this car already, but I removed it a while back. So now I'm having to play catch up and redo it all. Hold on one sec. Okay, so here it is. This is where it is supposed to be. And this car mounted, this is where it mounts. I'm still gonna be getting a cubby right here. And then I also have a, um, a little cubby tray that goes underneath the glove box too. But for now, this is it. I'm rebuilding the shifter. Well, actually, I already built it. Screw it. Let's go look. So here's the shifter. I just rebuilt. Just using the T3 kit. Um, so that's going to go in. And then we could finish it up. I guess for that video, or for this video, that's all I'm going to do. It's in right now. I just have to put the shifter in now. But... It'll look good once the cubby's there. It kind of fills up that hole. And I'm gonna do something for a custom cup holder in the old one since the one was used up. All right. All right, so here it is actually installed. Well, mostly. I have to make a few adjustments because some of the brackets don't want to quite line up once you get to over here. But I got the shifter rebuilt, put in. It's nice and, nice and sturdy now. And then, I got, this one's gonna be okay. It's gonna be this one that needs to be kind of modified, but come on, get back in there. You get the general idea. So, maybe I'll do some uh, updates when it's actually fully in. 